Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover math and implicit data type conversion. The math operations are going to be found in the instructions area under basic instructions, and then you will see a section for math functions. I'm going to change the pane mode so that when I expand out the math functions, I can see all of the functions that are available to me. Next, I'm going to collapse all of the networks from the previous lessons. Now I will expand out network three and then go over to math functions and then find the add instruction and then drag that into my ladder logic. I am going to zoom in a little bit to make things easier to see. Next I am going to go over to the project tree underneath PLC tags and I am going to add in a new tag table. Then I am going to rename that tag table and I'm going to call this math tags. Now let's open up the math tags tag table. In here, I am going to create some tags that I can use with the math operations. So I'm going to create one that's called int num1, and its data type is going to be an integer. I will set the address for the tag, so it is going to be an M memory location, and I am going to pick MW10, so memory word 10. Next, I am going to add in another tag that is going to be called the int result. It also will be an integer and it uses the next available address. Now I will enter in a real number and I'm gonna to have to change the data type from int to real. I will need to change the address instead of it being a word location, it's gonna to have to be an MD location and I will pick address MD20. So that's for real values take up 32 bits. So I'm gonna enter in a real result tag. It will also be real and then it's going to be MD24. I'm going to go back to OB1. I can set the data type for the type of math that's going to be done, or I can leave it at auto. So for the N1 parameter, if I highlight the pin, it will actually show you the different types of data types that can be passed into the add instruction. So in a details view, I am going to drag my int num1 tag in, which is an integer tag, to pin 1. Then I am going to drag my real number, one tag, into the parameter in two, so I'm adding a real to an integer. And for my output, I will assign the integer tag int result. By hovering over the pins, you can see which types of data you can add in without implicit data type conversion. If you hover over one of the boxes, if the data type doesn't match, then it'll tell you what type of implicit data type conversion will take place. Next, I will change the add instruction from using auto to specifically using the int data type. Now the implicit data type conversion box now is going to show up on pin in 2 And so you can see now a real number going into an integer could possibly result in data loss. Now I will switch the out tag from an integer tag to be a real tag. So now it's the real result tag. So that's an implicit conversion from int to real. So that would be fine. Now I'll switch the instruction to real, and now going from an integer to a real, that is a valid implicit conversion without any data loss. Next, I will highlight my program blocks folder, and I will download my program into the PLC. So I will select the load button and load the changes in. Next, I will go up and select monitor. So now I will monitor my ladder logic. And what I will do is I will right click on the int num and I'll modify the operand and I will enter in a value for the add instruction. So I entered it in 10. Now I will do modify pin 2 and I'll enter in actually a real number. So you can see that I can add a real number to an integer number. So 10 plus 2.1 gives me 12.1. Next I would like to add an additional parameter in so you can just press the little yellow asterisk and that will add in an additional pin for the add instruction. So now I'm just going to enter in a constant value. So now I've got three values in. So I will download this change into the PLC. So now I'm going to be adding in one, in two, in three together, you know, to give me my result. So I just went online to monitor and you can see the result of the add operation. Now I will go offline. This concludes the lesson on math and implicit data type conversion.